Hi friends, I'm Parwais and this is our 13th video in Django Web Development. So in this video we're going to talk about money to one relationship in Django. So as you know there are different relationships in Django that you can use. We have uh, money to one relationship, we have uh, one to one relationship and also money to money relationship. Basically in this video we're going to talk about money to one relationships. Now if you see Django documentation uh, so to define a money to one relationship, we can use foreign key. Now, uh, so you can see that there's an example. Uh, we have two models. We have a reporter model and we have an article model. Now in the article model, you can see that we have a, a money to one relationship with the reporter. Now, if you see the foreign key, uh, now I have opened the foreign key. Now it is in the relationship fields uh, you can see that Django also defines a set of fields that represent relations relations and uh, a money to one relationship requires two positional arguments we need to give the class to which the model is related and the on delete option now if you see in here we have uh, the uh, relationship we want to create a money to one relationship with the reporter model and we have on delete models dot cascade. So I will talk about this. That what it means. Now in this example, you can, uh, it means that we have a class reporter. Now uh, a reporter can publish multiple articles. So for example, one, two, three, or four articles. But uh, one article can be published by one reporter. Now one article is related to a reporter. Now it means that each article is related to one reporter. Uh, for, uh, now in here we have on delete models dot cascade. It, what it means? For example, we have a reporter at name of John. Now, uh, now this reporter has, for example, two or three articles. Uh, uh, two or three articles. Now, uh, uh, for example, this reporter has been deleted. Uh, uh, this John reporter has been deleted now after deleting of this John reporter we want to also delete the articles that uh, uh, the articles that he has for example if there is uh, two or three articles for the John uh, I want to delete uh, these articles also by deleting the reporter now the model dot case gate means this so now uh, we want to do the same scenario in here. Uh, so if you see my models right now, we have just a question model. Uh, we want to create another model and we want to create money to one relationship. So I want to create a class choice in here. Models dot model. And in here, I want to create a question. So it is models dot foreign key. Now we are going to use foreign key in here, and we want to create a money to one relationship with the question model, and also I want on delete models dot case kit. Uh, now what it means in here so I have a question model and I have a choice model now it means that uh, uh, a question uh, will have uh, multiple choices so one choice two choice or three choices and uh, each choice is related to a single question and uh, also now uh, after this also I want to just create a choice text in here uh, it should be models dot char field or car field and I want to give the max length to 200 so max length 200 and also I want to create votes uh, so models dot integer field and I can give a default value of 0 for this now our models is created now uh, when you create your model you need to uh, do make migrate uh, make migrations and after that you need to migrate your database so now in here first I want to do Python 
manage dot by make migrations so now you can see that uh, the migrations so we have a model choice now if you see your migrations folder uh, so you can see we have 0, 0, 0, 0002 and we have choice in here and we have uh, the these fields uh, so you can see this is the choice we have id uh, it is uh, auto field and also we have words and a question uh, now after doing this now we need to do migrate we can say python manage dot pi and we want to migrate like this now if you see your database your sqlite database and let me refresh my uh, database or is the refresh yeah this is you can see that I have pools choice and right now I don't have any data in here so ID a choice text force and question ID uh, now also I'm going to add uh, my this uh, models that I have created in my admin.py so let me just open my admin.py and the first thing is that I need to uh, so I need to import this uh, choice in here and after that I'm going to just uh, register this uh, simply like this and I can add choice alright guys now I need to open my admin so localhost uh, admin and uh, you can see that uh, I have choices in here I, uh, I have uh, some questions and uh, now I can add choices so let me just add choice in here so so you can see that uh, I can add multiple choices for one question now for example I can add uh, for example let me just add a random text so first choice and you can see that I have my first choice in here uh, also let me just add the, this str in here and I can just return choice text <clears throat> so okay now you can see first choice now I can add uh, for example for this question I can add another choice so second choice and you can see that each choice is related uh, to each question so you can see we have a second uh, choice in here first and second choice uh, now let me just add one choice for this updated uh, add choice and I can add uh, so for example updated choice Now in here if you uh, remember that I have added models.casekit now for example uh, now uh, so in the questions if you see uh, now this is updated data or for example we have uh, uh, this uh, Python class inheritance and for this we have two choices now if I remove this uh, question you will see that my uh, two choices that is related to this question will be removed now let me just remove this delete select it go yes sure and now if I check my choices I don't have the two choices so thank you guys like this you can work with uh, money to one relationship now uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further information you can just check my website geekscoders.com